occasionally you might have a source tell you something and then say, but don't quote me on that. Or maybe in the middle of an interview, someone says, look, off the record, we're talking about situations where a source is willing to talk to you, but they're unwilling to have at least part of what they say attributed to them. In typical journalism, a reporter talks to a source and quotes them directly or in paraphrase. It's straightforward. And maybe at a more advanced level, you might allow a source to remain anonymous in rare situations to protect them. And sometimes a source might offer to tell a reporter something but not allow them to publish it. Sounds kind of useless, right? Well, it's not useless, but it's very subtle, which is why it is rare in student journalism. Often, when a source tells a reporter they want to speak off the record, it's part of a larger interview where they are on the record, willing to be quoted. But other times, a source will refuse to be interviewed but say, I can't talk to you on the record, but off the record. Here's an example. A beloved athletic coach is fired. The school announcement was brief and said only that the coach was no longer employed at the school. Normally, school officials can't publicly go into detail about personnel issues, so they can't usually talk to reporters about so why someone is fired. Let's say you have a good relationship with the principal and she agrees to an interview. You've heard that some students complained that the coach was unnecessarily hard on athletes this year. Maybe a student even told you that's why he quit the team midway through the season. You ask the principal if the firing had to do with this, and she says she can't talk about it. But then she pauses. Look, she says, off the record, I will tell you, blah, blah, blah. But don't quote me on it, okay? Side note, if your reaction to that would be, hey, you said it, I'm printing it, then you're not ready to cover a story this complicated. 99 times out of 100, when a source says don't quote me, you should respect that. The 1% situation when you want to say, sorry, but I have to print that, the truth needs to come out, is not something many high school students ever deal with. Now, why would a source want to give you information but not allow you to attribute it to them? There could be a number of reasons. They could want to help the reporter with the story but feel constrained and unable to go on the record for some reason, or it might be so tricky or sensitive a situation that they couldn't even give the information anonymously because people might know that there can only be one source for that information. But let's not also forget the possibility that the source might not want to help the reporter. Maybe they even want to keep the truth from getting out. As a journalist, you have to remain skeptical about a source's motivations for talking with you. When a source is anonymous or even not cited, they have little accountability for what they say. Finally, the old two-source rule is golden. You should never publish anything controversial without at least two reliable sources confirming it. For the Scholastic Press Rights Committee, I'm Trip Robbins.